Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to configure TensorFlow Lite most easy way on latest Raspberry Pi OS bookworm 64 bit version so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we are going to configure tensorflow lite on latest raspberry pi os bookworm 64 bit version also we are going to create our own custom model for tensorflow lite we are going to use here usb web camera also the raspberry pi 4 camera module so let's get started for that i have created a new repository i will mention the link inside the description box you need to simply copy paste the link inside the browser then go to the code as you can see the repository name is basically t of light custom object book worm so this is the repository go to the code and then click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository as you can see it's now downloading so we successfully download our repository now let's just minimize the browser open the file manager go to the downloads and this is what our zip format repository so let's just unzip our repository so right click click on extract here it will extract the repository with our folder name so right click cut and go to the home and just paste it the repository that's it we have done now first this is completely fresh installation of bookworm 64 bit version completely fresh installation so first we need our open cv package so if you open here terminal and let me make a zoom in here so if you open the terminal and if you run the command sudo sudo space pip3 space install opencv hyphen python this is what our basic package for tensorflow light main package opencv hyphen python so if you hit enter on bookworm latest uh, bookworm raspberry pi os you will see this kind of error simple so for that we need a command so just open repository and here i have mentioned the rpi4.txt file a normal text file inside that i have mentioned the command so just right click to the file name text editor it will open our file with the help of text editor and this is the command just copy the command copy it open terminal and clear the screen just paste the command inside the terminal and just hit enter that's it now we have done now let's just close first text file which you open minimize the file manager and this is what our terminal now let me clear the screen now if you run the command sudo space pip3 space install space open cv hyphen python this is what our command sudo space pip3 space install space open cv hyphen python and just hit enter now it will install open cv hyphen python means uh, it will basically run pip3 command now we can use pip3 command for installing any package on latest raspberry pi bookworm operating system a 64 bit version so as you can see now it's installing our main package which is opencv hyphen python so it will take some time meanwhile i will pause video so friends as you can see we have successfully installed opencv on our latest raspberry pi bookworm operating system 64 bit version that's it now for tensorflow lite on latest raspberry pi bookworm python 3.11 if we want to use tf light we need a media pipe package because now the tf light modules which we want on raspberry pi is now supported with media pipe so if we want to use a tensorflow light on latest raspberry pi bookworm operating system we want to install 
media pipe package which is the main package for t applied now so simply same way sudo pip3 space install space media pipe sudo space pip3 space install space media pipe this is the command and just hit enter it will install media pipe package on our bookworm as you can see collecting media pipe so now is installing media pipe meanwhile i will pause video so friends we have done with media pipe installation as you can see is install all other dependencies requirement is already satisfied and all other packages so we have installed opencv hyphen python package with the help of sudo pip3 install opencv hyphen python this is the command and then we install media pipe package same command sudo space pip3 space install media pipe this is how we need to install opencv and media pipe on latest raspberry pi bookworm 64 bit version we have done so now simply open repository and inside that repository i have mentioned default model for tensorflow light object detection as you can see this is the default model and then detect.py is the code for usb web camera and detect1.py is the code python code for raspberry pi 4 camera module so first let's just run detect.py it will open usb web camera and then it will start object detection with the help of tensorflow light so first you need to connect your usb web camera with the raspberry pi 4 or uh, raspberry pi uh, 5 then you need to connect raspberry pi camera module with the raspberry pi 4 any version so if you don't know how to connect the camera module with the raspberry pi i already created the video i will mention the link watch video and connect the camera module with the raspberry pi that's it done so let's just open detect.py so let's just first open our tony python id so go to the menu programming tony it will open our tony python id and then as i mentioned this is completely fresh installation of bookworm so now if i open tony python id here we want to select switch to regular mode so just click on switch to regular mode click on ok then just close the tony python ide and now this detect.py as you can see just right click and open with tony it will open our python code with the help of tony python id and as you can see done so here it is if you scroll down here it is as you can see cap is equal to c2 dot video capture and i have mentioned the zero for index number of my usb web camera so if you want to use our usb web camera we want to mention this code cap is equal to c2 dot video capture now let's just start our code and there is an error i know what is the error because i have already configured this code for custom object detection so i have mentioned here base dot t of light model as you can see and right now there is no base dot t of light which is the custom model we have our default model so i need to simply um, just a minute here in model section where is the model section just a minute here here it is as you can see i mentioned the base dot t of light model because the code which i have already test with the custom detection for that i have mentioned here base dot t of light but right now there is no custom model so i need to mention here our default model which is this one this one so i need to simply comment this line and start with this line so you need to also do these changes because i have mentioned here the custom object detection model that's why there is the error as you can see the error is basically this one unable to open the file base.t of light now i have comment my custom model and i have uncomment the default one which is this one and the model which is default which i have already mentioned inside our repository as you can see this one so now let's just save our changes if you run the code detect.py and as you can see friends it detected me as a person so tensorflow light basic model is perfectly working on raspberry pi bookworm right now it little bit slow because 
same time i am recording as you can see same time i am recording that's why it's little bit slow but it's work perfectly on bookworm let us bookworm os 64 bit version so we have done with basic model our pre trained model now this is the code for usb camera usb web camera now go to the file click on open and select the detect1.py and inside that detect1.py as you can see i have mentioned from py camera to import py camera to and this is the code this is the code for raspberry pi 4 camera module raspberry pi camera module so now detect1.py will start our camera module raspberry pi camera module and it will start our tensorflow light object detection so here is also i want to mention here it is also as you can see i have mentioned the custom model so here simply comment the custom model line and uncomment this default model line this one the line 116 116 just save it now if you run detect1.py it will start my camera module raspberry pi camera module and then we have our tensorflow light object detection and friends as you can see now it's working with camera module that's it done now as i mentioned we successfully configure most easy way we successfully configure a tensorflow light for usb web camera so also for the raspberry pi camera module remember one thing on latest raspberry pi bookworm python 3.11 we need to install media pipe media pipe package for tensorflow light on bookworm python 3.11 here it is as you can see the python 3.112 version then we done with default model now we want to create our own custom object detection model for tensorflow light so for that we need our data so of course we are going to use our usb web camera also you can use your raspberry pi camera module for images purpose because we are going to collect our data using our camera live data so here inside repository i have mentioned two code the img.py and img1.py so i am if you open img.py with the tony python ide this one so img.py basically start usb web camera and then it will capture the images the images which we want to train for our custom model and then same way img1.py if you open img1.py so this img1.py same way open raspberry pi 4 camera module and then you can use the camera module for collecting the images with the help of live data done so now simply we are going to use here our camera module code and then we are going to collect our data so the data purpose we are going to use here arduino board and esp32 board these two uh, classes which we are going to train so we need these two object images so for that first inside our repository we want to create here a new folder which is images so right click new folder and images folder done images folder inside same repository then right click to the images folder copy as a path and we want to mention the path over here here it is as you can see c2.im right images just remove the path because this is the old path and here we want to mention our new path so just press control plus v and then it will copy paste our new path which we copied which we copied using the images folder we create a new folder images right click copy as a path and just mention over here so this is what our new path and inside that what is our image name so image name is basically arduino and the extension is .jpg so arduino and .jpg so it will save arduino.jpg images and how many images i have mentioned the max frames 30 so 30 images of arduino uno board so if you want to mention here 200 so it will now save the 200 or it will capture the 200 images 
and it will save name arduino.jpg so arduino.jpg 200 images now we only want 30 images so 30 images arduino.jpg is the image name simple so now just save the code now what we want to do we want to simply move our arduino no board in front of our camera module in different different angle slowly then it will capture the 30 images now simply let's just start our code and as you can see it's captured the 30 images so if you open images and inside that images folder as you can see we have 29 images of arduino board so if you right click image viewer and here it is as you can see the live images data which we capture with the help of our camera module as i mentioned you can simply use your usb web camera i have created the usb camera code also which is img.py but right now i'm going to use my camera module so i have just start img1.py for camera module then now same way let me close all these things same way we are going to capture esp32 board images so as i mentioned now just change the name arduino with esp32 just save it and just move your esp32 board in front of the camera module done so again if you open file manager then this is what our repository images folder and then as you can see we have now here esp32 board images also here it is as you can see this one is our esp32 board and then we have arduino no board so we have done with data now for training purpose we need label img software so just open our repository again this one repository our repository and inside that i have mentioned label img.txt file this is the text file inside that i have mentioned the commands for installing label img on bookworm so just right click open with the text editor label img.txt file and this is our text file just copy the first command copy it open terminal and let me clear first all the commands and then just paste the command from our label img.txt file to terminal this is the first command just hit enter it will install pyqt5-dev tools on our bookworm 64 bit version so friends as you can see we have successfully installed our first package now our main package which is label mg so just copy the second command as you can see sudo pip3 install label mg so just copy the command and just paste inside the terminal and then just hit enter it will install label img on our bookworm 64 bit version then we have done with label img also now just close all these things and minimize the file manager now open the terminal clear the screen if you watch my old video where i have explained how to install yolo v8 in that video also i have explained how to install label img on bookworm for python 3.11 so if you run here label lab and just press tab button it will auto complete our label img command hit enter there is an error on python 3.11 for label img so as you can see we open our software now select the open dir and we want to go inside our repository because inside that repository we have images folder choose then change save dir again same folder again images folder choose and now pascal voc the format we need for tensorflow light pascal voc now if you click create rectangle box and if you move your cursor on the label img software the label img just close for that we want to mention some changes so 
just open file manager again and then go to the file system root then we want to go inside usr then lib just a minute here we want to go just back again just go usr then local not lib local so just open usr then go to the local and here we want to go inside lib folder then we have python 3.11 as you can see python 3.11 and then these packages and here we want to search for this folder libs l i b s libs so as you can see right now i am inside slash usr local lib python 3.11 and this packages folder and inside this packages folder we have our libs folder so just open it and here we want to change this canvas.py so inside our repository i have mentioned the canvas.py so we want to simply delete the old canvas.py and we want to mention our new canvas.py so just open terminal and just file click on new tab and just come to the first tab and here we want to go inside this this packages libs folder so run the command like this way sudo sudo and rm rm space like this way let me show you here sudo space just press the space button rm again press space button then a hyphen and rf this is the command for deleting file so sudo space rm hyphen rf and we are going to delete this canvas.py so just right click to the canvas.py copy as a path so we copy the path for this file and just press space here and then just paste the path which we have just copied from canvas.py file like this way as you can see sudo space rm space hyphen rf and then the path of our canvas.py which we just copy like this way just right click to the canvas.py copy as a path open terminal and just paste it and then just hit enter done so we successfully remove our canvas.py from libs now we want to move our canvas.py file inside our libs folder this path so just open terminal again and we open the new one tab so this one is new tab and here we want to go inside our repository so run the command like this way cd space tf and press the tab button it will auto complete our repository name as you can see tf light custom object bookworm hyphen main just hit enter ls and this is what our file which we want to move so sudo space mv this is the command for moving the file so sudo space mv and mention the file name which we want to move which is the canvas.py simple sudo space mv space canvas.py and where we want to move we want to move here inside this path slash usr local lib python 3.11 this packages libs so just copy the path from here copy it open the terminal and this is the command sudo space mv canvas.py again space and then just paste the path which we copy and then just hit enter it will move our canvas.py so now if you open libs as you can see now we have our canvas.py done so same way we want to change one more file which is inside label img folder as you can see this is the folder label img so just open label img and label img.py so first we want to delete the old label img.py and then we want to move our label img.py which i have mentioned inside our repository this one as you can see label img.py so we want to move this file inside our label img folder but first we want to remove the old one so for that right click to the label img.py again same way copy as a path open terminal and just move to the first tab and just run the command same way sudo space rm hyphen rf sudo space rm space hyphen rf for deleting the file 
and then the just paste the path for our our labelange.py file and then hit enter now if you open labelange folder as you can see there is no labelange.py because we remove it now the new tab and here we are inside our repository now same way sudo space sudo space mv space our file which we want to move which is label img dot pi label img dot pi just a minute label it's a capital i okay label i is capital label mg dot pi as you can see sudo space mv label i capital mg dot pi now where we want to move we want to again copy the path so just copy the path here it is as you can see the path is slash usr local lib python 3.11 these packages inside that we have label img folder and inside that we have label img dot pi so just copy the path and open terminal and this is the command sudo space mv space label img dot pi our file and just paste our path and then just hit enter done as you can see label mg dot pi is there now close all these things just minimize the terminal close all these things and minimize the thony okay now close tab and run here cd command clear the screen and now if you run the label img command sudo or let me check here okay there is no need to run sudo just run the label lab press tab button it will auto complete label img command so label img and then just hit enter it will open our label img software and as you can see it's open this one like this way open dir select our repository because inside that repository we have our images folder select it choose change save dir same way go to the repository select the images folder choose now here we want to select pascal voc create rectangle box now if you move your mouse for drawing the rectangle the software will not close it means we successfully solve the error for label img now simply draw the rectangle on our object like this way draw it now simply we want to mention the class name so this is our arduino uno board so arduino arduino uno arduino uno click on ok save it go to the next image create rectangle box same way draw the rectangle box on our object same class which is arduino uno click on ok now if you open the file manager let's just cross check images and inside that as you can see we have xml file it means our label img is perfectly working so just save it go for next image create rectangle box draw the rectangle box select the class name click on save so now let me draw a rectangle box on arduino uno as soon as i completed this process i will start video again so friends done with arduino uno board now this is what our esp32 board same way just click on create rectangle box and then we want to draw a rectangle box and now we want to mention our new class name which is esp32 just click on ok save it go for next image create rectangle box draw a rectangle box on esp32 board select the class which is esp32 click on ok save it next image create rectangle box draw a rectangle box esp32 click on ok save it now let me draw a rectangle box on esp32 board so friends as you can see we have done now this is what our last image now simply we want to close our label img software so just close the label img software and now just open our repository again and uh, our repository and this is what our images folder so just open our images folder and inside that as you can see we have image their xml file this is for arduino and esp32 image and their xml file done so now just again come to the repository 
so now we are inside our repository and here we want to create a new folder which is freedom tech so right click new folder freedom tech this is the name click on ok and then go inside the folder freedom tech and here again we want to create a two new folder which is train and validate so right click new folder train train folder click on ok train and new folder validate validate as you can see train and validate done so we create a freedom tech folder and inside that folder we create two new folder train and validate now our images folder and we want copy all the data we need to copy all the data so just press ctrl plus a ctrl plus a select all the things right click copy go to the back our freedom tech folder train folder just paste it just copy paste the data from images to freedom tech train then go back validate just paste the data done so we need to copy paste our data from images folder all the data from images folder to freedom tech folder just a minute to freedom tech folder to train then to validate also then now we want to create here a freedom tech dot zip file so for that i have mentioned the command which is inside label .txt. so just open label .txt with the help of text editor and this is the command this one so just copy the command open the terminal and go inside the repository so let's just clear the screen and cd space just press the space button from keyboard so command is like this was cd space and our repository name so just press tf press tab button it will auto complete our repository and then hit enter now we are inside our repository if you run your ls command hit enter as you can see this is what our freedom tech folder so just press the command which we copy from our label img.txt file this one i have already shown you label img.txt inside that we have our command this one command for creating the zip file done so just close it and open terminal so as you can see i have mentioned the command so we are right now inside our repository because in that repository we create our freedom tech folder and inside that we have our train and validate folder so now just hit enter as you can see now it's creating our zip file so if you open our repository and here it is this one freedom tech dot zip now we are done now simply we want to upload our freedom tech dot zip on our google drive so friends as you can see i have opened my google drive and here we want to upload our freedom tech dot zip so just right click right click over here file upload and then go to the repository and freedom tech dot zip as you can see freedom tech dot zip select it click on open now it will upload our freedom tech dot zip on our google drive as you can see uploading one item so meanwhile we are going to open our collab file so google collab click on upload browse and then go to the repository home this is the repository and select the collab file as you can see this one tf light custom model then click on open now it will upload our google collab file on our google collab so friends as you can see we have successfully upload our google collab file here we want to go inside runtime then change runtime type select python 3 t4 gpu click on save and then click on connect here it is click on connect now it will connect our collab file with google collab so friends as you can see we have successfully connected now we want to simply run a cell one by one so first cell just select it it will create a virtual environment then next cell the second cell
So friends, as you can see, we are running our second cell and meanwhile, it asks permission. So here it is, as you can see, proceed, yes or no. So simply here, select it and mention Y. Y and then just hit enter. Now it will start for the process. So friends, we have done with second cell. So next cell, this one, import sys, just select it and just click on play button. It will run our next cell. Now this cell, here it is, as you can see, conda create my environment with Python 3.9 version. So just run the cell. So on this cell also, it asks a permission. Here it is, as you can see, on this cell, where we have conda create and my environment, Python 3.9, on this cell, here it is, as you can see, proceed, yes or no. So just select it and press Y from keyboard and then just hit enter. Now it will go for next process. Then next cell, this one, select it and just run. It will install TF Lite model maker. So friends, we have done with pip install TF Lite model maker cell. Just scroll down and go for next cell, this one. Pip install IPY kernel. Just click on the play button and it will run this cell. Pip install IPY kernel. So friends, as you can see, done. Just scroll down. Go for next cell, people install OpenCV-Python, Python version. So just click on play button. So friends, as you can see, we have done with OpenCV-Python package. Now people install NumPy 1.23.4 version. So just select it, the cell, and it will install the packages. Done with NumPy. Go for next cell, just click on play button. Done. Just scroll down. Now we want to mount our Google Drive because we need our freedomtech.zip. So if you open the Google Drive and let's just cross check, our upload is completed. We successfully upload our freedomtech.zip. Now just run this cell. This is the code for mounting our Google Drive on Google Colab. So just click on play button. Then it will pop up this kind of window. Connect to Google Drive. Just click on connect to Google Drive. We want to select our Gmail ID. So this is my Gmail ID. Just select it as per yours. Then just scroll down and click on allow button. Just click on allow. And now it will mount our Google Drive on Google Colab. So friends, as you can see, we have successfully mounted our Google Drive. Now we want to unzip our freedomtech.zip. Here it is, we have our freedomtech.zip. We want to unzip the file. So just select the next cell, which is unzip our freedomtech.zip file. And here it is, as you can see, we have our images, which is Arduino Uno and ESP32 Uno. Done. Now select it, the folder icon, here it is, as you can see this one. Select it, the folder icon, and we need to upload our train.py file. So just select it, this folder icon, just click on this icon then, and then go to the repository, which is home, and our repository name. And inside that, I have mentioned train.py. As you can see, train.py. Select it, click on open. It will open our train.py inside our Google Colab. Here we want to simply select OK. And then as you can see, we successfully upload our train.py. Just select it and click on the train.py. It will open our file like this way here. This is what our file. 
and inside this file we want to make some changes so here esp8266 and pico this is what our classes which we want to train so here we want to mention our own classes so first class is basically arduino uno and the next one is esp32 so arduino just remove the old one first arduino hyphen uno arduino uno and the next one is esp32 here also in freedom tech validate folder same way just remove old one and mention like this way in double quote arduino arduino hyphen uno arduino hyphen uno and the next class is esp32 so this is how we need to mention our classes which we want to train so this is for train folder and this is for validate folder so arduino uno is basically first class and esp32 is basically next class the second class arduino uno same way inside validate arduino uno and esp32 then just scroll down just scroll down and then friends here it is as you can see the line number 4040 we want to mention here epox so just make like this way here it is as you can see the epox is 20 we want to change the epox 20 with 100 so just select it and mention here 100 100 like this way as you can see i have changed 20 with 100 here it is let me show you here this is what batch size and epox epox is now 100 now we successfully change the epox by default it is 20 we need to mention 100 then simply press ctrl plus s now we successfully save our file so if you close the train.py and if you again open train.py for cross checking and here it is as you can see we mention our changes which is arduino uno esp32 arduino uno esp32 this is what our class names and here in line 40 so now as you can see the epox is 100 done now just close it train.py now we are ready and simply this is what our last cell it will create our own custom model for tensorflow light so just click on the play button it will start our cell and friends as you can see there is some error uh, in last cell there is some error and let me open train.py again we are going to solve the error what is the error basically let me check uh, inside the train.py so i have open again train.py arduino uno and arduino uno oh there is a typing mistake there is a typo mistake let me change arduino uno the class name which we mentioned there is a typo mistake arduino uno that's it now perfect arduino uno arduino uno esp32 esp32 let me press ctrl plus s close trend.py now again we are going to try to run our last cell so just click on it and now it will run now there is no error so it is basically a typing mistake a typo error the classes which we mention okay so that's why there is error now there is no error it will start our training so let's just wait because it will start our 100 epochs and as you can see epochs 1 by 100 it means now there is no error and it will create our own custom model so it will take some time meanwhile i will pause the video so friends as you can see our process is completed and we have our custom model ready base.t of light so just click here click on download and it will download our base.t of light model and friends as you can see we have downloaded our custom model now minimize all these things and then we want to go inside file manager again 
and downloads because there is our model as you can see this is what our model which we just download right click cut go to the home and our repository this one tf light custom and then just paste the model over here paste it done so we successfully paste our model so again just open tony python id and close img1.py now we are going to check our model both for usb web camera also for the camera model so start with detect.py for usb web camera so here it is as you can see now again we want to comment our by default model line and then we want to uncomment our custom object detection model line so just comment the by default model line which is this one 132 and uncomment default base.tf like this is what our own custom object detection model and this is the detect.py for usb web camera simple now we are ready simply save the code and if you run the code it will start our usb web camera so friends as you can see it started usb web camera and if you show the arduino uno board to the camera and as you can see it's detected arduino uno board it's detected arduino uno 0.925 percentage it's arduino uno board and then we have esp32 here it is as you can see it's detected esp32 also with the help of usb web camera we create our own custom object detection model on latest raspberry pi bookworm operating system the 64 bit version let me again mention here because right now i am recording on the same raspberry pi that's why the detection is little bit slow so now a detect 1.py for camera module same way just comment default model line and uncomment custom model line which is default is equal to best.tf like this is what our model line uh, model name then save it and now detect 1.py it will start our camera module and then we have detection so friends as you can see it started my raspberry pi 4 camera module and if i show the arduino uno board as you can see it's detected arduino uno then we have here esp32 here it is as you can see it's detecting esp32 also so we successfully create our own custom object detection model most easy way on latest raspberry pi os bookworm remember one thing in real scenario you need more than 30 images simple so i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye